What's up, everybody? Uh, so here I got a, we staked out a control point. Show you how I do that on here. It's really simple. Uh, I'll show you something too that I suspected that my northern easings are out a little bit. That base pole's been there a long time when I set up on it. It was a little wobbly, but that's why we check our stuff. Now we know. I would, uh, in this instance, you know, if I was out here doing, depending on what I was doing, if I was checking a couple spots on grade, I'm probably not gonna get overly concerned about it. But if I was gonna be laying anything out, then obviously I'm gonna set up off of one of these hubs and and uh, go check some other spots. But show you just the, I more more than anything, I'm trying to show you. Sorry, I'm right next to the road. It's pretty loud. I want to show you the process of just what it takes to stake out a point. Um, see here, I'm set up. I had to do a little excavating to find my point, but. It was there, doesn't appear to be too disturbed. Um, so I'm set up on it. So make sure I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording on here so I don't have to use both these. Um, so what this looks like is if you're in, you know, if you're in point survey, which is kind of the default, I've got my tilt on. I was using that to find the point. I'm gonna turn that off. If I go to my point stakeout, now I've got my points list down here. The, when the JXL comes in, it brings in the GPS points as well as the control points. They're the same. They're going to stake out the same, but I typically use the regular point. So you can see on here, I'm staking to point 200. Um, actually, now that actually, so there you go. So I was wrong. I had my tilt on and I haven't recalibrated that thing in a while. And so it was about half a tenth out. Um, I turned it off. I'm pretty well right on that point. Bounce around a little bit. That pole probably does have a little play in it. But so going back to why I like to level my pole up and just take that out of the equation. But basically, it's showing us down here, pretty tight. Um, what I one feature I really like is go if you're staking out multiple points, you don't have to go back into your points list all the time. You can see down here, you can just toggle through the points. If you got 50 of them, then obviously that's kind of a pain, but then you just go in your points list and you can reselect them. But uh, yeah, simple as that, to stake out a point. So go hit a couple, make sure everything looks good, and then uh, you're good to go. But yeah, so that's interesting to see there that I didn't think about that having that, my tilt on to, I think it's easier when you're stabbing around trying to find a point if you can lean your pole and kind of angle a little bit. So that's another time, you know, we're just having that tilt function and ability is, is pretty dang handy. Um, so yeah. So next process is I would go and uh, we're going to go out on the site and check some grade and uh, show you what that, what that feature looks like staking out to a surface. So, all right.